Among the businesses with plans to close its doors Saturday is Chalice Farms Marijuana Dispensary on Southwest NATO. I'm very frustrated, very sad, very enraged. Christopher Crosser is especially upset because he was scheduled to work, but the protest is not allowing that. And no work for Crosser means no paycheck. I'm going to have to pull into my savings account that I don't want to um, just because, you know, I I don't make a lot of money and, you know, it's expensive to live here. It sucks. It's extremely frustrating. Josh Johnston owns Patty's at Southwest First in Yamhill. The bar is not closed for the entire day. Instead, it's opening up five hours later than normal. What the police are telling us is that there's just nobody that's going to really be down there other than, you know, the people that potentially are the troublemakers. <laughs> so uh, we're taking all our patio furniture inside. We're taking away anything that somebody could potentially throw through a window. Speaking of that, the Portland Police Bureau is certainly gearing up for the possibility of violence. More than a dozen law enforcement agencies from across the state have agreed to help the Bureau keep the peace. In addition to that, the hope is that demonstrators police themselves. First, our expectation of those involved is to refrain from engaging in criminal acts, especially acts of violence. Second, if someone witnesses an act of violence, a criminal act, or something that is alarming in nature, for the public safety, please call 911. A plea for help hours ahead of a rally and counter protest that could have a major impact on downtown Portland. It is very sad the fact that human beings are just, you know, just going against each other. We're supposed to be in this together. You know, this is our plane and we share this plane and we should be, you know, with each other, not against each other. All right, keeping with that theme, the owner of Patty's Bar and Grill tells me when they do finally open up at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, there will be a 10% discount for law enforcement. It's their way of saying thank you and we appreciate you. Laurel, back to you. Well, that is a nice gesture, but we hope it's peaceful all day up until then. Thank you, Mike Benner, live at Waterfront Park for us.